Last year on the way home from Burning Man, I stopped at the Great Basin National Park and introduced you to the bristlecone pine, which are the oldest living trees in the world. This time we're on our way to Burning Man and we've stopped in the Inyo National Forest on the border of California and Nevada. And we're right now in the oldest grove of bristlecone pine trees in the world. Now some people like to say that these aren't the oldest trees because there are clonal trees in Sweden that are 7,500 years old, but those trees have a root system that lives that long underground and they send up a new tree every few hundred years. But this guy right here has been alive since the Great Pyramids were built. He has seen virtually the entire spectrum of human civilization evolve. And that's just about one of the most amazing things that I could possibly imagine. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit teared up. This, these trees are incredible. They live above 10,000 feet in desert mountains in mineral soils with practically no nutrients in them, where it barely rains a few inches of rain a year, and their wood is, grows really slowly, and it's very hard, and it erodes in the fierce winds and the bitter winters, and it's just the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. Wow. This is a baby bristle cone and she's probably only 15 or 20 years old but if she grows up to be like her big brothers the Methuselah tree and other trees in this grove which are over 5,000 years old think about what she will see. When the Methuselah tree was a sapling the great pyramids were being built there was no technology to speak of. That was the Stone Age. Imagine what has just happened in the last hundred years of human civilization, the invention of computers and space travel. If things continue to progress at that kind of speed, imagine what this tree will see in 5,000 years. Nothing like Mother Nature to put in perspective the evolution of mankind, right? It's not every day that you get to taste a plant product that is 4,000 years old. <laughs> but this bristlecone pine cone literally has sap pouring out of it. It's not going to hurt it one bit for me to have a taste, so that's what I'm going to do. It's a little crystallized, still sticky. Well, it's not exactly good, <laughs> but it's not bad either. Imagine it would make an interesting cocktail. But again, how often do you get to taste something that's 4,000 years old, right?